hello guys and welcome back to a new video actual rp9 so today i'm going to talk about always the drop down list but as a multi-select okay so uh, basically i'm going to take back the rp5 that we uh, discussed in the previous tutorials uh, some uh, some weeks ago so if you are interested please subscribe to the channel activate the bell uh, put a like a comment and whatever you want okay so that's it let's get started And here we are in Axure. So here, as you can see, I already opened the file uh, of the um, previous tutorial uh, based on the dropdown, uh, simple dropdown, okay? So here, uh, let's go back to see it in uh, preview. So this is a simple select. Uh, and if I click on Apple, I see Apple, Peer, uh, Banana, okay? So, and this is something that we already did in the uh, previous tutorial that I link it here above. So basically uh, what I'm going to do today is to change a little bit the behavior of this uh, in the sense that instead of having a, bas uh, a basic drop down list we, uh, with a single select I will be able basically to select more than one element uh, and to uh, and when when selected the elements I can uh, have uh, a tag created on another list uh, based on, on the on the item that I selected. Let's go to do it. So so so. First thing that we have to do uh, and to remember is that uh, so the list here should have. Let me see. Should have the repeater here. First thing uh, is to check back the isolate selection group. Why this? Because this is uh, if it's unchecked it works exactly like this. As you can see here, I selected the apple and apple is selected. If I select the pear, okay, also the pear is selected. Okay, and if I select the banana, also this uh, is selected. So, and this is exactly what we need for, uh, for the scope of this, this tutorial. So, let's go back. So, first thing to do, uh, let's clean out all this uh, interaction that I had in the previous uh, for the previous tutorial and that's it so uh, first thing to do is to create basically on the left or wherever you want basically the list of tags that will appear uh, on select of the element okay so I copy this uh, title uh, and I put it here like you selected and here I'm going to uh, drop basically the, um, the repeater and I'm going to change the content of the repeater. So the repeater will, will have basically something like this inside of uh, 35 pixels and uh, oh yeah, like this, something like this, radius uh, 35. So we are sure that they are rounded. And what else, what else? The typography here is Roboto, of course, here a uh, left uh, padding, 40, 40, 40, yeah, 40 pixels. Okay, so as you can see here, we have our um, new uh, repeater that we are going to talk to a call like tag, okay, and the spacing of eight pixels, okay. So what we are going to put also inside is uh, this uh, little elements that we, uh, we uh, it is the icon actually, icon. So the icon here, that is an image that will be dropped here inside the, voila, okay. Here we are, okay, okay, okay. So basically now, as you can see here, we have uh, the, the new tag repeater with these two elements, the background, I would say, uh, let's call it background BG and the image that is the icon, okay? 
and we're going to basically take the, these two elements so the background will contain the content of the of the selected elements and the image of course the icon that we selected so now the second thing that we have to do is uh, really simple so let's call this uh, two columns new columns one uh, list two and icon underscore two why it is just for a simple association of names so it will be more easy uh, to associate the two things so uh, in fact as you can see here in the repeater list so we have list one with the name of the uh, of the item and the I icon underscore one with the icon of the item so it's just for association so uh, just to make it easier let's say okay and let's delete all the elements that we have here now first thing set text of uh, background equal to text on value uh, item list 2 and that's okay that's simple second thing is to uh, set image of what of icon here value of item icon 2 that's okay that's simple okay now first thing here we have the content right so the content that contains uh, the icon and the label okay on the uh, repeater list so on the drop down so in the content we have this uh, first uh, um, interaction that is on click content set content to true this is to enable basically the selection of um, of the background and the change of color and, and stuff uh, for the the entire content right and so here we are going to first uh, say toggle and the first case that we have to put here is really simple so um, First of all, we are going to add the logic. The logic is if the selected, so if this element, so the content is selected, so if this is equal to value true, let's get the toggle else if, so if this element is selected, what we have to do? We have to basically uh, put the same name and icon in the tag okay so that, that that's simple okay so add action and we do what add rows on where on tag add rows and on list two because it is the list of the tags for the list two we are going to put the item dot list underscore one and on icon 2 we're going to put the item dot icon underscore one so the basically two elements coming from the drop down list okay now what we have to do also we have to remember that uh, we don't want only to uh, put these elements on the tag we want to be able also to remove them okay on the second click so on the first click the tag appears and if I click again on the same item the tag should disappear but not whatever tag the, the tag exactly with the same name and icon right so what we're going to do here is uh, it's this this is uh, crucial for for this tutorial so to, to do it that way so here again we are going to uh, add a new case and the logic is if the state of this element is false so if it's unselected what we have to do here we have just to uh, let's uh, always put uh, toggle the, um, the if else what we have to do here is to delete the row okay so we are going to search delete row exactly on tag with the following rule so the rule will be this first of all we're going to take uh, the item dot list one okay should be 
equal 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 to item dot list underscore two. So basically, with this, we are uh, telling to Axure if the content is unselected. Okay, on the action of click, if the content is unselected, so if it's false, basically you have to remove on the tag, okay, the tag that has the same name of the list one. So of the elements on the uh, first list on the drop down. Let's do that. Okay, let's click OK and let's see if everything works works uh, fine let's see let's see let's see so first thing if i click on apple you see apple appears if i click on peer peer appears if i click on banana banana appears but if i click back on banana boom banana disappear and if i click on apple boom apple disappear and this is really really cool right it's uh it's it's amazing and also this video is finished i hope you enjoyed it and uh, that you learned something new for me what to say as usual just remember to uh, subscribe to the channel to put a like a comment uh, activate the bell and see you in the next video bye